hello friends in this example we will discuss about stop and destroy also as i told you in the previous uh, video um, like just like these methods uh, i have used system.out.println to show the calling sequences of uh, stop and destroy when uh, so the once again the stop is called when the applet is either minimized or get suppressed by another window so all of your code that may pause the applet execution that should um, that should be executed while the applet is uh, stopping you will write here in the body of the stop method and uh, in case of destroy this is very often case that you will want to override destroy so kind of resources that the applet is required you can uh, make them free here by your code in the body of this method so once again the HTML document is uh, we are keeping it intact and once again and we'll use here applet viewer then to cause we are performing console output here so there are previously taken snapshots uh, see this see when uh, we compile the uh, source code then we run applet viewer and then applet in the init called first then start then paint as in the previous example now see here I have just minimized the applet and then stop is called again I restarted the applet by maximizing it or by restoring it then uh, the start is called and then paint is called and see lastly we are destroying that applet and the uh, applet destroying is uh, called so I think that um, all these examples can help you to uh, grasp the life cycle of an applet for detailed study you go for go through books java books and obviously you may you may you, you can write this uh, codes in your own machine and then uh, test them if you want to test so they will execute uh, correctly so keep watching this video for uh, next uh, next topics on applet and uh, thanks for watching this video for today's it is all